Hello, hello, hello. Today we're, we're doing something a bit different. Um, I got one of these gizmos. It's a, a Now TV uh, HDMI USB stick. A great little gizmo if you want Now TV on your television and you haven't got a smart TV. Um, pick one up. They're on offer. It's, the basic flavour is um, $14.99 for the just the vanilla one. But I picked up to one with which it was nineteen ninety nine, which had a month's uh, Sky Cinema Pass, so I could watch some movies for for free for a month. So I thought that was a good deal. Anyway, before I talk about that, let's have a look at what's inside the box. Take it away, Darren. Why, thank you, Darren. And yes, this is the Neo TV Smart Stick. Let's get watching this indeed. So yeah, it comes in this blue box. I've already cut the tape so we don't have to fiddle and fart around. And, well, there it is. There's the Neo TV stick itself. It's uh, what you come to expect now. This one is a Roku powered, apparently. Uh, so yeah, it's your HDMI at one end, and there's your micro USB at the other for power. Uh, I, I assume you can power this from a TV with a USB uh, connection and of course there's my my Sky Cinema Pass but I won't be showing that to you no 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 um, or never show anyone your pass not unless they ask you um, but yeah so this is a, a very brief setup guide um, looks really easy to set up and um, and is the well more detailed more detailed instructions for the professionals for those that like specifications oh yeah you can see all the specs there Whoa. that's what you want that's that's the money shot and so that's that so what else is in the box we have a, a little uh, wall wall USB um, adapter there you go there's your adapter goes in that end and oh, well, they even throw in a cable that's usual but no you know it's not you don't have like an HDMI extender sometimes. You get, I don't know, you get, I got one of those with a, with another device, so just in case it didn't fit near your telly. Uh, it's like a little HDMI extender, which I thought was really clever. But um, so there you go, you get some batteries as well, Duracell ones, so the, uh, you can get your, um, you get your old remote control going out of the box. Remember when you had to go and buy batteries? Oh, Christmas used to be a nightmare in the 70s and 80s, so there, there you go, there's the, um, there's the pair of them together. So yeah, it's very neat packaging, very very neat, and uh, like I say, we want to get a good product shot, so we'll move all that crap out of the way, so I can get, so I can do a thumbnail, and that, go on, that's it. get out of the way, down, that's it, and this can be the thumbnail, and not that lovely, look at that, oops, up, down, down, that's better, I'm doing this through the viewfinder, and so there you go, that's the Now TV stick in all its entirety. Well now we've seen what's inside the box, I'm going to actually show you uh, the interface and how it works. Um can't show you any content obviously because of the copyright police, but trust me, uh from my initial tests the, the picture quality is really good. I was very very impressed and it outputs I think it's ten eighty P at fifty Hertz. So no, not bad. Um But yeah, I was I was actually quite surprised by the, the picture quality. I thought it was very, very good. And the overall interface was was very good as well. But anyway, enough of me talking about it, let's have a look at what it actually does. Well this is the Now TV startup screen, I've already run this before, you know, to put all my uh, information in, like my network password and account password for Now TV, you don't want to see me do that. But yeah, so it boots up like this, it's, it takes a bit of time to get warmed up, but once it's done its little animation, um, we get to the main screen there. Um, Again, takes a little bit of time to connect to the network, but once it does, um, see, just waiting, waiting for the, <laughs> waiting for those icons. Come on, you son of a gun! Um, trust me, it does work. There we go. Like I say, it does take a little bit of time to connect to the to the network and down start downloading uh, information. But say so, yeah, you have your your start homepage, then your best of catch up, which kind of lets you link uh, to the various TV apps that are that are on there. So yeah. And there's a TV guide as well, which you can stream uh, live shows from that from Sky. You know these Sky channels that are available on that like, uh, on Now TV. So yeah, you can just click on those. You've got Now Next Guide. Uh, click on them, and, and it will start. You can start watching it. But I won't play any because of the copyright police. Uh, you know, uh, I'd love to show you, but I can't. <laughs> but yeah, so you got and various categories. You've got movies, sports, and kids categories as well. Um, and on the My Apps, these are the ones that are already preloaded. Um, so you've got 
ITV Hub, Sky News, UK, UK TV Play, which is I think is new, and of course YouTube. I can show you some stuff on YouTube because I do YouTube videos and I'm not infringing anyone's copyright. Uh, but <laughs> also, I'm a, I'm a dreadful egomaniac. I just love looking at myself. So uh, yeah, it gives me a chance. But it, it, you can see what the picture quality like is like on this. Unfortunately, it wouldn't let me do a direct screen grab because this is HDCP protected. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't. I couldn't connect it to me, to me screen grabber. So I've had to actually point the camcorder at the screen, um, and see. As you can see, that's that's not a bad picture, is it? See, I, I think I look like that. So yeah, it's it's a pretty good picture, and you've got your standard YouTube controls and everything, and it's all pretty responsive. I just wish I could show you more, but you know, like I say, you know what the copyright police are like. So you get that app, and like I said, a host of others, and they are all pretty zippy. Um, you know, I can't really complain about the performance because it's it's pretty good. You can search, use the Now TV search function. There are more apps that you can use. Um, let's have a look at that. Again, these are the most popular ones in there, but you know, you've got Ted and GoPro and MLB TV, Crunchyroll. If you're up for some of that, if you like your anime, um, so like I say, it's pretty responsive screen. The menu just, like I say, whizzes by, and yeah, I mean, can't complain. Um, what else we got? Yeah, here are the settings. So you've got your network settings. You can also select a screensaver or not. It auto auto detected the, the screen display. Um, your remote control, which is done. It also outputs uh, Dolby, which is interesting, and Dolby Plus. And there's a system update where you can update the software and whatnot. So yeah, that's what the Now TV stick looks like when it's operating, and it's pretty whizzy stuff. So yeah, I think for the money, um, it's a really good little gizmo, especially if you haven't, if you, especially if you've got a television that doesn't have smart TV capabilities and you want access to Now TV. This means I can now watch the final series of Game of Thrones in bed because we have a little portable TV upstairs. So um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, before that, you know, I couldn't do it because didn't have um, didn't have any smart TV capability on that television. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a niche product. It's for those people that, you know, don't have uh, a modern television. Because again, lots of modern TVs have a lot of these these apps built in. So you don't have to worry about it. But again, if you've got an older television, you know, perfect. Uh, I can't really fault it. And the remote control, I think, is, is nice. Feels good quality. You know, again, for the money, you can't really grumble. Um... You know, and and you've got YouTube on this. I mean, if you've got if you've got an Amazon stick, a uh, Fire Stick, they've taken the YouTube app away from that. Whereas this one has YouTube on it. So if you have those two working in parallel together, you've got access to uh, most of the uh, most of the uh, streamable TV content now because you don't get Now TV on the Amazon Fire Stick. Oh, it gets complicated. But yeah, I thought you know for the money, a good little gizmo, and yeah, I can watch. Lots and lots of um, Sky channels on my on my on our TV in our bedroom, which yeah, it's got to be good. <laughs> anyway, I've, I have no hesitate in recommend hesitation in recommending this product. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Darren. Lock. I've been talking about the Now TV stick, uh, which has just come out. Hopefully, this has been an interesting demo for you. Don't forget to like this video or not. It's up to you. Uh, there will be those that like fancy down my videos. I don't know why. Um, uh, and also don't forget I'm on the social media and blah 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 but all that's in the description so you can check that out at your own leisure and that's it there's only one left thing left to say and by now if you're a regular viewer you'll know what that is and that is ta-da